Hi, I'm Ollie from Morgan Marine in Brighton Sea, and today we've got the Merry Fisher 1295 Flybridge. Uh, we'll shortly be taking you on a walkthrough tour and sea test. <clears throat> She's equipped with triple Yamaha F300s. She's got a lovely ergonomic design and beautiful lines, as you can see. Very spacious flybridge, triple cabins, twin heads, and a brilliant layout inside, which we'll walk you through. And now we'll step on board. Right, we've just got the lines off and we're free from the pontoon. So I'm now gonna take us away from the pontoon using the Yamaha integrated joystick. Uh, we'll come directly away from the pontoon, come to a stern and then turn around and head out the marina. So we're now just turn into our starboard. Small movements on the joystick is all it needs. We'll now change to normal controls. All you do is just press the two levers forwards, which will engage all three engines. So we've just come out of the marina. Uh, we're coming in quite a narrow channel now. I'm gonna show you the benefits of the joystick again using the stay point feature, which talks to satellites and holds the boat in its particular position. We've got about three knots of tide running through here, uh, eight knots of wind as well. So it's gonna to have to work quite hard to hold us where we are. Yeah. So the, the stay point has now been activated. When you activate it, it gives you a couple of warnings which you have to press OK just, just to warn you haven't got swimmers in the water, etc. So it's using the triple engines on the back and it's using the two outer engines to go into forward and reverse to control uh, how the boat's pivoting and hold its hold its position. It's a very useful tool for when you're coming into a berth. If you just want to come up to your berth, press the Press the stay point, hold the boat where it is. You can go around, do all your fenders and lines if you're single-handed or, or limited on crew. And then you simply can then take it off and use a joystick to put you into the berth. So we're now going to take it out of stay point and we're going to head out of the marina and the river and go on to a sea test. Now we're going to run through a couple of the features on the Yamaha fly-by-wire control box. And we're going to bring her up uh, from standstill where we are now, up onto the plane and then to top speed. On the control box, we've got a nice button here that says single lever. That combines all three engines onto the port lever. So you can simply move the starboard lever out the way. And now all your engines are just on this port lever. A popper into gear, and then we will bring her up onto the plane and to top speed. The doors are shut now, so you can hear just how quiet it is in here. But this beauty of the outboards is it, it really helps with the harmonics. It's nice and quiet. You can have a normal conversation while you're skippering the boat. It's very, very sociable. We'll bring her up onto the plane and to top speed. We're now coming up onto the plane at 16 knots. And as we climb through, now reaching 25, 30 knots, we'll add a little bit of trip to help give us a few extra knots. We're at 39 knots. We got four tanks of fuel on board, so just over a tonne of fuel. Um, I'm very sure once we burn off a bit of that fuel, she will be 40 knot boat. You can see even, even at this top speed, it's very stable, still nice and quiet. We still hold a normal conversation and that even reduces as I, as I bring that back down to a cruising speed of say 25 knots. Now we're gonna head upstairs to the flybridge. We're now gonna bring her up to speed, do a few turns, show you how she handles and how she performs uh, in the open sea. So we're heading along at displacement speed now, uh, eight knots, uh, just making a turn to port as we head towards Radio Caroline, which is in front of us. We're gonna straighten up and bring her onto the plane. So we're instantly onto the plane now, 20 knots uh, and climbing. Really good cruising speed, but this boat is 22 knots. Uh, at that speed, you've got really good fuel burn. It's a comfortable speed to travel at as well. We're gonna put her into a starboard turn and then into a port turn. She grips the water really well. It's a Michael Peters designed hull. 
nice deep V with chines all running all the, all the way through the forward section of the hull. We're maintaining a comfortable cruising speed of 25 knots at the moment. You can see here, the fly gives you brilliant visibility all the way around. Uh, great for days like today. It's very spacious, plenty of seating, very well laid out dash. Uh, Garmin 1223 MFD on there. The Yamaha 5 inch display, your zip weight, your joystick control and your bow thruster. All nice and easy to access. It's very comfortable, everything you can reach. Uh, all the seats are adjustable <clears throat> to make it a nice, nice place to skip the boat from. We've got a good, good bit of storage under here too. USB charging. The wheel is adjustable as well. I'm going to put her into a port turn and then we will bring her down and drop the anchor. We're, we're now stood in the rear cockpit of the boat. It's got a really spacious rear cockpit on here. This is a side access door. You can see that it's, it's really wide to get in and out. <clears throat> it's, a, it's at least a full whip, so you don't have to turn. You can walk straight on and get straight off. We've also got, with the rear doors open, we've got the galley now to the port side, whereas typically on the Mary Fisher range, they would be on the starboard. This is really opened up inside, which we'll show you in a little while but it's added the bar feature. Big aspect of this boat, we're having the outboards freeze up all of your internal space where your inboard engines would traditionally go, which means you, you gain a vast amount of storage under where I'm stood, which I'll show you. And also in this cockpit, we've got a really large rear bench seat. It slides, it's on runners, slides forwards to allow you to trim the engines all the way out of the water uh, when you're either at mooring or at anchor. Now on the starboard side of the boat, We've got our access door, which is here. And we've got our terrace over here. Now it's 12 volt powered. It's got a switch over here. You can see how much the terrace opens up your rear deck space here. It makes the boat feel really, really wide. Again, great for entertaining, swimming, kids diving off into the water. On the Mary Fisher, the side decks are asymmetric. So the wheelhouse is slightly offset to port, which gives you a really wide starboard side deck and still a good size port side deck as you can see all the way along here. Now we're up at the bow you can see one of the USPs of, of the Mary Fisher 1295 is this lovely seating area they've got here for entertaining, for just chilling out and relaxing. Family days out, comfortably got three seats across there and another couple of seats across here. The cushions are all easily removable so the cushions lift up Underneath, you've got the anchor locker with an easy access to your anchor control remote with there, or you have the switch at the dash and a chain counter. You'll notice all the way around the boat, the stanchion height is nice and high. So you've got high handrails. You can see they come up just above my waist, makes you feel really secure and the perfect handhold position for if it's a bit rough uh, when you're traveling backwards and forwards to the bow. This new flagship model has now integrated some really nice stitching into the seats, <clears throat> some really plush fittings, really nice cup holders. So now we're up on the fly, <clears throat> beautiful day. We've got the front sunbathing area on the fly here, which has also got covers to protect it. Really wide area, it's a wide fly bridge, good area to chill out. The helm seat pivots so you can join in with the rest of the social area, which is, again is really good seating for six, seven people up here. Part of the Mary Fisher DNA here is the, is the folding seat. So that reverses to allow a co-pilot position. You can really see how big this seating area is. Really the key feature of this boat is the time you can spend with your family, the amount of seating you've got, how sociable it is. It's just a really nice place to spend time. <clears throat> Everywhere is really comfortable, nice high backrest to support you. We've got the upstairs galley. We've got the Kenyan grill and the sink. And below, we've got a little cool box fridge. You can see the bracket and support system we've got up here for the Garmin GMR18 radar that we have installed, the TV antenna, and the aerials too. To access uh, up and down to the flybridge, we've got this really safe passage door here. You can see it's safe to stand on, physically strong. Now we're gonna head down and look at the main saloon. Now we've come in to the galley area. The first thing I'll show you as we, as we come through these doors is we've got the lifting floor panel here. Now this gives you another great area for storage. The galley itself is a really good layout, nice and spacious. You can see here we've got 
overhead lockers for storage. We've got the Fusion Audio system integrated and the boat monitoring system, which gives you all the details you need on your battery life, uh, charge percentage and wastewater tanks and also your freshwater tanks. The freshwater tank capacity on here is 400 litres, so it's got a really good amount. Here we've got the, the twin gas burner grill. We've got a wet bar storage area, and then we've got our sink here with hot and cold mixer tap. We've got plenty of storage under here too. So we've got a really cool little opening door here. We've got a gas oven down this side. On the starboard side of the galley, we've got again, overhead storage lockers. We've got all our light switches for the nice surround LED lighting, which is in the roof and also mounted all the way along the floors and twin fridges, which are pull out. This little cupboard here, this houses our isolators. So the layout of this boat, we've got eight batteries in total. We've got good storage down here again. Then we move on to the saloon seating area, which is really, really brilliant on this 1295. It's very spacious. It's well laid out. You can see how it, how it shapes around the saloon area. And that's all created by having the width here by moving the galley to the aft. And the table drops down and creates a double berth. And we've got plenty of natural light coming in. You can see how low the windows are all the way through the saloon area, how big the windscreens are. Gives you great visibility, but also plenty of that natural light coming in. It's again, very comfortable seating area, perfect for entertaining family and friends. Okay, Coming to the helm position, you can see we've got this really nice upholstered leather seat with drop down bolster. Now this seat's really cool on 1295 because it moves forwards and backwards, but it also rotates. On the dash, you can see here we've got two Garmin MFD displays. They're the 1223, 12 inch units. We've got the bow thruster, We've got our navigation and anchor lights. To the starboard side of the helm, we've got the joystick, which we ran through earlier, and the zip wake automatic trim tab control panel. Our handhold Yamaha controls, Yamaha CR5 display, and our Yamaha autopilot. Now I'm over, you can see how wide the door is. It's really great for access when you're trying to get out to help berth the boat or to grab a line. The cleat is just forward of the door, which makes for, for really easy positioning uh, to get those mooring lines on and off. You can see as I go through the door, just how big it really is. Jeanne are always developing their products, finding new ways to innovate in the marine market. <clears throat> it's no different on this boat. Plenty of storage, even under the saloon, all these cushions lift up, offer you vast amounts of storage, which you really need on a boat this size. Under here, this lifts up. Again, a cool feature. This is the TV. We've now come down the stairs um, and we're going to give you the tour of the heads and also the three cabins we've got on board. As we come in to the port side cabin, you can see just how much room we've got in here. We've got good head height for sitting down. It's a wide and deep berth, really good light through the windows, a little night light up there. And then we've also got a good amount of storage here in this cupboard. In this berth and also on the starboard side double berth, they can both be split using these infills. So you can have them as a double or as two singles. The mattresses lift up as well uh, and under there you'll find more storage areas. We're now coming through into the starboard side cabin. Similar layout to the port side. Again, this one hasn't got the infill in currently. Once again, good amount of room in here. Comfortable to sit, move around. As I said, the infills lift out and the panelling to have it as, as two singles or a double. We've also got the same storage area, again, with a bit of hanging room. We've got nice lighting and again, the deep Mary Fisher windows which run along the starboard side. We'll now take you into the heads. Here we've got the day head and the guest heads. Coming into the heads, you can see we've got a good area for the toilet. We've got a full height standing shower, closing screen, corium floor. And then we have got the sink and mixer tap. The toilet on here is electric and uses uh, fresh water. Here we are coming into the master cabin. 
Uh, we've got a great size double bed here. The bed pulls out so you can have an insert put into the middle, lifts up for that traditional Mary Fisher storage, which is underneath. We've got the high skylight, which comes from the footwell. And then we've got the deep side windows, all allowing plenty of natural light, along with the ambience LED lighting along the side and along the ceiling here, as well as in the footwell. We've got plenty of storage in here too. Overhead cabin lockers. And then we have got the ensuite. It's a great feature this boat having the ensuite. It's quite rare to have a 41 foot boat with two fully serviced heads. We've again got a full height standing shower with Corian floor, the mixer tap, the heads which is tucked behind the store. We've got the lifting mirrors in here for additional storage. Now it's a good overview and sea test all around the Mary Fisher 1295, a perfect circa 40 knot family cruiser. Please call Morgan Marine on 01206 3002 to arrange viewing this boat at its debut at the 2023 Southampton International Boat Show.